Hi there, this is Mike from quilterguy.com and I just want to show you a quick tutorial. Um, I like to use this application called GIMP. It's a free application for modifying photos, but um, I've kind of find a, found a fun way to use it to design and audition fabrics for quilts. So the first thing you'll need to do is click download, download GIMP and install it. It's a very straightforward um, install. It's just next, next finish. So go ahead and install it. And then the next thing you'll need to do is think of a quilt block or a type of quilt that you want to make. Head over to Google and type in what you're looking for. So I'm going to type in Lone Star template. And then I'm going to click on images. And then I'm going to find an image that's black and white. So it's very easy for me to fill in the colors. So let's do this first one here. Many times over on the right hand side, it'll have view image. Now this is an okay size, but it could be, it might be larger. So I'm going to click on view image. It shows up that it is a bigger picture here. So it'll be easier for me to fill in. So then I'm going to right click and choose save as, and I'm just going to save that file. Once that's done, you can close this tab in your web browser. You don't need it anymore. And you're going to head over to GIMP and we're going to open the file we just saved. And here it is. So now what we'll need to do is find the first fabric that we want to try out. Um, I am looking at making a Ricky Thames quilt. So I have, um, I'm looking at the fabric that he has available. I'm going to find the first fabric that I want to use. So I'm going to try the Sunflower Power. We're going to right click. We're going to choose Copy Image and then we're gonna go to GIMP. We're gonna go to edit. Then we're going to go to paste as, and we're gonna choose new image. So now I have two tabs up here. I have my fabric tab and I have my template tab. So the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna press control C while on my fabric tab. And that's going to copy this picture. Now I'm going to go over to my template tab. I'm going to select the paint bucket icon. And there are a few things I need to do here. I need to make sure that fill type is set to pattern fill. Many times it will be default uh, defaulted to pine is the fill that's there. So you would need to click on this picture and the very top left hand photo should be your clipboard. So go ahead and click on that top left hand corner. And I already have mine selected, but you'll need to make sure that once you do that, that it reads clipboard here. And then for the affected area, you need to make sure that um, fill similar colors is highlighted. Once you're sure of all that, you can head over to your template and start filling in pieces, uh, the white pieces of the block that you want to um, add that piece of fabric to. So this is the first piece of fabric I want to try. Let's go back and find another one. Let's do this one here. So I'm right clicking, I'm copying image, I'm going back to GIMP. I'm going to choose the fabric tab. I'm going to press control V and that pastes the fabric right here. Now, one thing to note, over here on the right hand side, it shows you what your clipboard image looks like. And this should still shows the um, yellow that we just used previously. So to make sure that it's the right color, I'm gonna press Control C again, and you can see that it updated it to this new color. So I know that I'm ready to go back over to my template tab, and I can just start filling in that quick and easy with the color. So um, hold on just one moment and when we come back I will have everything filled out for you. Okay and now we're back and as you can see I filled in my star and it's completely ready to go. Um, one other interesting thing um, is you see I have all this background space filled so I could come in here and find, let's just choose this one, a background. 
and then I'm able to fill that in. And obviously it's tiled, but it should give you kind of a feel for what that star is going to look like and how it's going to kind of all come together. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it gives you a lot of ideas for things to try. Um, one thing to note is you can always go forward, but going backward is rather difficult. So I'm, what I mean by that is by the colors. So let's say we have this dark color now as our is the fabric that we're using. So some of these will go back and it'll be okay, but you see how some of the yellow and stuff has come through. So um, what you need to do is control Z and control Z will let you go back and undo things. So if you've clicked in a wrong spot, um, that sort of thing, you can click back and it will go ahead and get rid of everything. And it will take you all the way back to the beginning if you do that. And then the other, like the other thing as well is if you go back and you've gone back one too many, go ahead and press control Y and then that will allow you to go ahead and refill in something that you may have accidentally deleted. So I hope this um, gives you tons of ideas and that you'll try it out on your next project. Thanks and happy quilting. Cool